Hello everybody, here's my mama and she's gonna be making guacamole for a rice or chicken and rice for y'all today. Yeah. And it's, here's all the ingredients, it's simple, easy, it's everything you'll need. Yeah. This is uh, optional, I forget what it's called. It's but, what they use in Mexico to uh, to mash all their vegetables or uh, this and that, and they make their uh, guacamole, I can't say it. Guacamole. <laughs> and their other... Um, Pick a die or something like that. And that's what this is what they use to mash their vegetables and stuff in. Uh, my daughter got me this in uh, South Carolina at a flea market. It's a and little it's, pig. And it's real heavy. Yeah, it's, it's like a stone or something. Yeah. It's a little pig, though. It's cool. Yeah, that's what they use in Mexico to grind up their food and stuff. I love mine. I've had it for about two years now. So, and... I need some lemon, lemon juice... And some tomatoes and onion and a, some salt. And that's everything that you'll need. Yeah. If you don't have one of these, you could just smash it up with anything. You could put yeah. it in a bowl and smash it. Yeah, that's what I used to do before she got me this. But all you do, you take your um, uh, avocado and you just peel it. And you have to get the soft ones. Now, um, I got two soft ones here, but this one's too hard. So, And I'll uh, do these two ones here. And... Uh, you just peel them. Most of the time, I just go down each side of it. And I see, it just comes right off. Most of the time, I just do this. And I take my hands and pull it off. Yeah, I don't want to do it now. Like that. But, uh, yeah, you want them real soft. You don't want them too hard or you won't be able to do it. And it's got a seed in it. They're messy. It's like a big nut on the inside. Yeah. So you just take your hands and peel it. See the seed in it? You just get that out. And after they make it, they usually put this in there. Yeah, I don't know why, but they do. They just drop that in there afterwards. I said somebody keeps it from getting brown, but no, never did mine. So yeah. I don't know. Maybe there's another secret to it. Uh, it might help it to stay fresh or something. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what she said. So, And I love this. My daughter got me on fried rice and uh, then the chicken that they cook with, uh, they fry it with onions and uh, cucumbers, any kind of vegetable you want to put in. Tomatoes, whatever you want to put in with your chicken, that's, uh, you'll fry it with it. And then you have that chicken and the vegetables, and then you have your fried rice, and then they have the Gordon's cheese. It's um, milk cheese. It's a goat cheese. I mean goat cheese. And um, it is real good on the rice. I love it. It's expensive. Now this, you could put it on anything. Though. You could put this yeah. on tacos and stuff, too, or a burrito. Or you can even eat it on a sandwich. It's real good on sandwiches. Yeah, or with crackers. Yeah. I love how it tastes, but every time I eat it, it just tears my stomach up. It gives me a bad stomach ache, but even though it tastes good, and I like it, I just can't eat it. I love it. But, um, oh, let me get me something to wipe my hands with. Um, I, I love it. But uh, she puts in... Uh, Say the word. Uh, so it's, uh, cilantro. Yeah, she puts that in hers, and I don't like it. It's uh, to me, it's a bitter herb, and uh, or herb, and I don't like the the bitterness of it. But let's get this out of the way. Pull this down here, and you take this and you just smash it. And see, these are not real soft like they should be. Just smash it and uh, spin it around. It grinds it up on the bottom of it. The bottom is like a coarse rock, yeah. so it just grinds it up. I see. Uh, yeah, we went today, and I sent my husband in to get this, and I forgot to tell him to get the soft ones. And he knows me. I'll wait a couple of days before I fix it, and then it might be too soft to fix. You know, might be bad. But... Uh, I try to fix it up when we get them. Sometimes I'll get them and I don't have my rice or uh, 
something I don't have, and I have to wait to get that. And this has been, what did I do with my knife? Let me cut this up in little chunks. But yeah, you put this uh, in there, and you cut up your tomatoes and put in there, your onions and put in there. You put your um, lemon juice in it, or you could put uh, the lime in it. Now, I have put lime in it before, too. I'm going to try to cut these up a little bit, a little more. Maybe they'll chop up better. But, yeah, he, he didn't get me the soft ones, which I don't know if they didn't have them or what. But, yeah, she, was, she should have done been in, my daughter, but she's not. And uh, so maybe uh, later on we'll get the rice in on a video after Corey comes back. Yeah, I was going to record it for y'all and uh, take it and then upload it there whenever I'm there. But I have to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning and leave before 4 o'clock in the morning. So I have to sleep as soon as I can. I can't stay up to wait for her so I can record that. So I guess I'm not going to be able to record the their chicken and rice for y'all. So. But this is really good too. And uh, you can eat it with tacos or burritos or, or you can put it on rice, chicken, anything. Yeah, and some of them likes it uh, chunky like, but now I like mine real smooth. I like mine chopped up real fine, mushy like, and uh, I love eating it with the rice, the fried rice and the chicken. And then you take it uh, Gordon's uh, goat cheese, and I don't like the spicy either. I like the mild. And you put that in, over your rice. Oh man, is it good. My grandson's here with me. He's been here for a little while. And, and this is his mom's coming in. And he told his mom, he said, Mom, I'm hungry for some Mexican food. Will you come and fix me some Mexican food? Because <laughs> the only thing I know to fix is the rice and this. You know, so I've never tried the rest of it. But uh, they do fix good food. Some people just put this on a toast. It's called avocado toast. Yeah. Okay, let me get me a spoon and mess it up. Mix it up here. I wash my hands and I put the tomatoes in it. This is what it look like after it's all mashed up. And Miss Piggy. It's a Peppa Pig. Yeah. I think it's cute. I like it. Yeah, I didn't get this as fine as I want it, but. And then you take your tomatoes. Let me get me a There's plate. a chopping board. And uh, you just chop these up fine. Yeah, it's going to be lonesome here without Corey. When you get used to somebody, it's hard to, when they leave. I know when uh, my daughters got married, it was so lonesome here, and I wanted to cry every day And uh, after they got married and moved off. They went to North Carolina when they got married. And uh, they used to come in pretty good bit, and then they all got jobs, and they only see them once or twice a year now. If I'm lucky, maybe three times a year. But, but they have their life and their jobs and families and stuff, you know, and you have to let them go. That's what it's all about. You know. For me, I'll be coming back, though. Y'all won't be able to get rid of me that easy. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad. <laughs> oh, If not, I might come get you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to be a little bit farther than uh, North Carolina. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I don't like in planes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I went to Israel, and I just don't like plane rides. I never did like height. When you get up high, I can't stand that. So, you know, it's not for me. The planes are not for me. Well, I keep my feet on solid ground, but now... Oh, when them, uh, that horn blows for the Lord to come back, 
I'm ready to go. I'll take my flight. It'll be flying away then. Yes, we will. A glorious flight is what that will be. God is good all the time, you know. So, I just, I love going to church. I love reading the Bible. I love talking about the Lord. You know, I love doing stuff in church. It's getting so I can't hardly do stuff now, you know, like I used to. But, you know, nowadays the younger uh, people don't pick it up. The younger families, they don't pick it up. They're, it's like they're more interested in the world and things that's going on in the world. And, you know, but, you know, we're going to have to be ready when he comes. We're going to have to put him first. That's all there is to it. You know, God loves everybody. But, you know, you've got to make your choices and your priorities. You've got to put them where they belong. You put God first and he'll put you first. And that's the way it is. You know, here's our tomatoes in here. And I'll put some onions in here. Yeah, I don't know why my daughter ain't in here yet. She shouldn't have been in here. But I know uh, I used to take Valerie, or not Valerie, my daughter Annie to Shriner's Hospital when she was born. We adopted her, and she had problems. And uh, her legs and feet was turned and different things that was wrong with her. And we went to Shriner's. And I may tell you, when you get on the interstate, and it seemed like every time we went to Shriners, they were working there in uh, North Carolina on the roads. And uh, we would have to wait for hours. I hated that. You know, but you get out of one lane, get in another lane, it stopped. You know, I'm like, give me a break. We got to get through this. You know, but... That's life. I know one time uh, we was taking them. I'm going to tell you how good God is. We was going to the Shriners. And uh, Mom wasn't a Christian then. And uh, we was, you know, how do you get on the interstate? And how fast you go on the interstate? And they have these little turn-off places. You know, you're not supposed to turn on them, but they got little places you can turn on. Well, this, uh, uh, we was going down the road. And, oh, it was, traffic was heavy. And uh, anyway, a car stopped right in front of me to turn back uh, uh, to turn back on the other uh, direction, and uh, and I uh, tried to slam on my brakes. And I said, if I slam on my brakes, I know I'm going to ram into that person. So I just cut it over, and uh, and I, I knew there was a semi truck over there, you know. But I didn't know what else to do, and uh, so I cut it over. And you know what? There was no semi truck there. And it like the floored mom. She said, what happened to that semi-truck that was riding beside us? I said, I don't know, mom. I said, it's just like um, in the Bible when, uh, let's see, which one was it? Anyway, he went and baptized this, um, man, I can't even thank you, Stephen. This man in, in the, a pool, and uh, God just picked him up and uh, set him in another place. I said, and that's what uh, God has done with that semi-truck. We didn't sit nowhere behind us. We didn't sit nowhere in front of us. And Mom wasn't a Christian then. And so many things happened to us while we was taking her to um, to the Shriners Hospital. And I told Milton, my husband, I told him, I said, Milton, I said, well, Mom got saved after that. And I said, I know everything that she's seen, the things that have happened to us all that time that uh, she's seen that the Lord had moved in many, many, many things in our life. With Annie, things that happened to her, that God had kept his hand over her because they was able to take off her legs and they didn't take off her legs. And uh, so, uh, and I didn't think she lived. But she did. She's, she's not walking real good right now, but uh, she walks and she's sassy. She's 26 now. Give me the juice in the... But, um, yeah, they thought she would die. They didn't think she'd live. 
we adopted her. Octopus is the name too. There it is. And you just pour a little bit of this in there. I don't know. Just whatever you think. A couple yeah. of tablespoons. If you like yeah. it more sour than that, you can put more. Like you said, I eyeball it. <laughs> Here's the salt. Yeah, I gotta put the salt in it. And then you put a, about a tablespoon of salt to, 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 to your taste. And like I said, I love this. This is so good. It's a little bit chunky, but but that's the way some of them like it. They like it chunky. Now I like mine smooth, but I like it like this. I can eat it like this too. So and there is your your uh, set koi guacamole. 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 You can drop these in there, back in there too, yeah. uh, so it'll it stay says fresh. It's keep fresh. So you just put them in there. So we'll see. Yeah. That's your. And that's it. It's simple. Yep. Kind of fast. Easy to make. Yep. Go with your your dinners and stuff. So. Now Mama's uh we get her Bible first ready for y'all. Okay. Here's uh, one card that we got today. It's better than no card at all. And plus, Mama loves reading the card. So she's already read this. And if it has your address on there, then I'm sure she's going to send you a card back. Yeah. Do you know if it had the address on there? Uh, I can't remember. Let me see. Well, I think it did. If it's got your address on there, she'll definitely. Yeah, it's got it on, on, on top here. Yeah. So yeah, she'll I be, can see it. They didn't cover it up. Post office didn't cover it up. Yeah, so she'll be sending you a card back to whoever sent this card. Yeah. And thank you so much. It means a lot to us. Even if it's just a, a letter or paper or just uh, anything that it says, it, it means a lot to us no yeah. matter what it says. Yeah, that's right. It's very uh, thoughtful and meaningful. It is, yes. And I keep them all. I've got every one of them. Yeah. From the very first, I've got them. You know, I got one big uh, scrapbook that I call it. It's plum full. And then I got letters in a, uh, I bought some containers and I put all my cards and stuff in that until I can get me a big, another big book. But yeah, I keep them all. I love them. You know, and I'm going to keep them too. And she saved every single card. Yeah, I do. And we do appreciate every one of them. And here's this. It's the P.O. Box for anybody who hasn't seen it or any new subscribers, new viewers. You could pause it here, picture it here. And if y'all send something to Mama, we'll show it here on the table and you could see us using it in the videos. Any cards or any gifts that y'all send us and she'll send y'all something back. And the P.O. box or the PayPal at the bottom is just for people that's requested it. So we just put it on there. But you could picture it or write it down or pause it, the video or whatever y'all want to do. That's all. Now i uh, Mama's going to read y'all a Bible verse. Okay, it's going to be in Philippians, the second chapter. And it talks about the uh, attitude of Christ, uh, joy in serving him. Uh, it says, if there be therefore any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels of mercy, fulfill ye my joy that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind, let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, that uh, lowliness of mind, and let each esteem other better than themselves. So look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. So let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took up on him the form of a servant and has made in the likeness of man and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that is the name of Jesus. And every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord 
to the glory of God the Father. And then it says, shine brightly for Christ. It says, wherefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but how but now much more in my absence. Uh, work out your own soul salvation, or work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Uh, do all things without murmuring. See, we're not supposed to murmur and complain. Uh, this, uh, do all things without murmuring and disputing, uh, that you may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom you shine as lights in the world. And that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to shine like lights. We're supposed to let Jesus shine through us, that people can see that he lives in us. Whom ye shine as lights in the world, holding forth the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. Yea, and if I be offered upon the sacrifice and service of your faith, I joy and rejoice with you all. For the same cause also do ye joy and rejoice with me. Yeah, you know, we're to rejoice with the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, and uh, always let him shine through us. So, so uh, that's what we're uh, supposed, uh, supposed to do, you know, be Christ-like. Uh, and it says many people, this is in uh, my commentary, many people, even Christians, live only to make a good impression on others or to please themselves. But strife, selfishness, ambition, and vainglory, conceit, bringing discord. Paul therefore stressed spiritual unity, asking the Philippians to love one another and to be one in spirit and purpose. When we work together caring for the problems of others as if their problems were ours, we demonstrate Christ's example of putting others first. That's what we're supposed to do, you know. We're not supposed to think about ourselves. We're supposed to put others first. Um, and we experience unity. We're supposed to show love one towards another. Don't be so concerned about making a good impression or meeting your own needs that you strain relationships in God's family. Selfishness can ruin a church, but genuine humanity can build it. Being humble involves having a true perspective about ourselves. So it does not mean that we should not that we should put ourselves down before God. We are sinners saved only by God's grace, but we are saved and therefore have great wealth in God's kingdom. We are to lay aside selfishness and treat others with respect and common courtesy. Consider others' interests as more important than our own links, uh, that our own links us with Christ, who was a true example of humility. Yeah, we're supposed to be an example like Christ was, you know. He come down here, Jesus Christ come down here on earth. He was our example, and we're supposed to be like him, you know. We're supposed to follow in his footsteps. We're supposed to follow his word, you know, and be obedient to him. So let's do that, you know, so we can be ready to go to heaven when he comes to get us, you know. I love the Lord. I thank him for picking me up out of sin and setting me in his family, and that's what we are. We're all one big family in Jesus Christ. So y'all have a good evening. We'll see y'all in the next video, whenever it may be. You know, I think Corey's going to keep us going on, even over in the Philippines, you know, maybe one or two uh, videos a week. But, you know, when he comes back, we'll build it back up again. So. Uh, well, I'll keep uploading videos to Mama. I'll have all these ones stored. And whenever I upload this, I'll be in the Philippines, and I'll have them stored up for y'all so y'all can still see Mama. And then whenever we get back, like she said, we'll start up again. We'll start making new videos for y'all. Yeah, I'm going to start saving up new uh, um, recipes. recipes and uh, get some of the old ones that Mom and them used to have. And my uh, grandma, she used to make a mayonnaise cake. So I'm going to try to get the recipe for that. You know, So some of you might have heard of the mayonnaise cake. But I remember when my great-grandma used to fix that for me. You know, I mean, my grandma used to fix that for me. Or fix it for our family dinners when we have, you know. We used to... You know, people years ago, every Sunday was a family dinner. You sat down at the table and you had dinner together, you know. And some of mom's sisters would come over and have dinner, you know, and the kids would come. Just one big family, you know. But now these people don't do that. So that, that's a shame. You know, you don't even know who your kin people are most of the time. But uh, let's get back to the old ways, the old past. Let's love one another and show love one to, towards another until Jesus comes and takes us home with him. And then we'll Amen. be one big family up there.
Love y'all. Y'all take care. Well, that's all for today. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. And we love y'all. God bless y'all. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Yeah.